Hello, this is Michael Sullivan, and I am going to do a short little intro to creating your own scorecards. Actually really easy to do. Again, as a background here for myself, I have been at BSP for two years, kind of doing pre-sale stuff. I was at NetSuite for eight years, did thousands of presentations for wholesale distribution and manufacturing companies. And then spent another 20 years or so in other ERP companies in North America and Europe. Today, I am going to walk you through what we need to create a scorecard, which is pretty easy. You need a safe search or multiples. And then we need to create a scorecard, and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing is we need to figure out, you know, what type of data do we want to analyze? So I have like an example here with a whole bunch of office supply products. I have a field on the item record here called item type one. Uh, you can see ink containers, stickers, cleaning materials. Now let's say I was really interested in evaluating how these different types of items are performing against each other, right? This could be by supplier, this could be by location, this could be by customer, right? If you have specific customers you wanna look like, that could be the sales rep, it doesn't matter. So I have started a search called scorecard something. There we go. All right, so this search is pretty basic to start, but we're going to make it uh, a little bit better. I, I just click everything here all the time. I don't know why, but most of the time public is good. But I'm, I'm looking at sales orders, mainline false. What does that mean? That means I'm looking at the line item, but not at the header, which is important here. And because I don't wanna look at all the data, all right? because I want to look at specific, let's go back to this item thing here, right? Because I just want to look at item type here, right? So as an example, cleaning, the cleaning supplies here. I think we can actually make that better. There you go. Um, I'm going to go to the item record here. So I'm going to go drop down, but because the item record is a link, I have to scroll all the way down here until I get to, Then I'm going to go here and type item type one. And I'm going to say it starts with cleaning, right? Which sort of stuff. So what I'm trying to do is I'm looking at all sales orders. I'm looking at the line and I'm looking at anything item type one that starts with cleaning. From the results perspective, I got the date, I got the amount. I kind of want the item in there so I can analyze that. I want the quantity. I already got the amount here, right? That's going to be the dollar amount. But just to make sure, so, you know, we can validate everything. I'm going to go back to those item fields and then bring one of those in here. And there's a lot of fields, right? You can see. And I'm going to grab multiples and I'm going to get the. So now what I'm doing really is like if you were working with some of these other software packages, you'd have to write a join to do what I'm doing here, uh, which I was never really good at programming. So not my favorite thing, but I'm just going to put the image so you can see what it looks like in the item type one. And there we go. So now, and this doesn't really matter, this field here it has no relevance. But the most important part for a scorecard is for available filters, I want the date field. And you need some sort of a date field so that it knows when the transaction occurred. Now, if I had save and run, and I'm gonna make this a scorecard, meaning, right? Because we wanna know. And I'm just gonna do the same as. 
No, just want to make sure that everything looks. Oh, look, they are all cleaning supplies. So next thing is I need to do is I need to go in here and make this amount a sum, right? Because we need a total. So now when I do this, notice what. $1,113.78. All right, so let's do two more while we're at it. So let's do ink and tour, right? So that's good. So we want, we got cleaning supplies. So let me, and we'll do ink and toner. We'll do one more. Okay, so now we're going to call this scorecard. Ink and toner. And we're going to change this to ink and toner. And we're going to do save as. There we go. We got 13,000. And we'll do one more category. What's a good one here? Mailer. Okay. You can think of this could be anything that you want to see, right? Anything that you want to evaluate, you want to measure against, any you know, trending. Right. Maybe you got five salespeople, right? All you have to do is create five searches. And you can see how they're trending against each other. All right. We got three searches. Now what we need to do is create the actual scorecard, which goes under senders and tabs, scorecards, and new. So I'm just gonna call it my scorecard example. You can give it a nice description here. So the first thing we need to do here is see, notice these are standard KPIs, but I want custom ones. Now I need three at least here, right? Because I created three searches. So I got three custom ones. And then I'm going to label them because that's going to be their heading. So cleaning. And then the next one was, you know, ink and toner. And the third one was mailers. All right, so that is going to what's going to show up. So these are going to be my, my titles here. Then I want to look at date ranges. So I want to look at, uh, let's say, this business week. Might not have a lot in there. Uh, I'm going to go last business week. I go this month. I'm going to go this fiscal quarter. I'll go this fiscal year. And for the fun of it, let's see, maybe for lucky last fiscal year. All right, so now we need to put those safe searches again, right? Those are our three customs. And now we need to match those up. All right, so first KPI was cleaning supplies. So what you're doing is you're matching your labels with your actual searches. All right. And for the fun of it, we'll say that the cleaning one, if greater than, let's say, 1,000 for this fiscal year. And I want a fancy image to show up and I want it to be orange and I want it to be bold and I want the headline. Okay, so save it. And we're done. We go back to our homepage here and we're gonna go to this scorecard that I had sitting in the middle of the page and we're gonna go example and hit save. Now it takes a second or two because it's retrieving all the data. And look at this. We can see here's our cleaning, our ink and toner, our mailers, right? No transactions, but still that was greater than a thousand. So that's great, right? So let's say you want to make this a little bit prettier, right? Let me go back to our scorecard example. 
right, we edit that. And maybe we want some more highlighting, right? We want the ink and toner. Let me see if it's greater than, you know, $100 uh, for this quarter. And we'll make it green, we'll make it bold, we'll make it headline. And we'll do that with the mailers too, but it's greater than. Make sure it's soaked up, right? And we'll make this one, you know, so. So that's kind of how you can do that. Now, there's a couple other things you can do here that I'm not all that great at, but you can you can do comparisons. So you can compare uh, one value to another so that you can get kind of a trending information, um, right? You can do ratios here, um, that kind of stuff. Again, you, got, you can do up to 10 altogether. You can do all kinds of highlighting here, right? And then also, if you wanted to add, you know, a standard KPI in with all the stuff that you've done, right? And notice you can also do formulas in here too, where you can compare stuff. That's probably above my, you know, skill level. But I'm gonna save this, and we'll go back here, and we'll just refresh this. You can see now, notice all the fun highlighting, right? We got ink and toner. The nice thing here too is if you click on this, well, that takes us right back into that search. And we just create. There you go. That was as hard as it can get to create your own scorecard. So all you need to do is create a search. And just remember those same searches here, right? Cleaning, right? If I went to my KPIs, and I went to add custom KPIs and I went to scorecard. I right, an ink and toner. That the same searches that you use for your scorecards are also used for key performance indicators. All right. And they can also be used for reminders. There you go.